Look, we all want to rely on a single piece of software, such as micro content video editors to create everything from scratch. You know, drop in a one piece of long form content, whether it's an hour of video podcast or perhaps a webinar, just be done with it. Wouldn't it be great if AI has made all the right decisions with no mistakes and automatically publish all the clips on your social media platforms. And all you can do is sit back, relax, and collect all the prospects and leads and your business thriving. If that sounds too good to be true, it's the case because those micro video content editors such as Munch or Opus, they're great. They're really easy to use. They're fast or very affordable, but they're not really designed to go beyond the basic features. For example, merging videos together, adding title cards, changing the text, adopting your brand colors, fonts, transitions, and being able to tell a cohesive story is giving you all the options under the sky. At the same time, we sort of don't want to open a Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, Adobe Premiere even each and every time because we want to make those tweaks and play with 10 to 15 different micro content pieces or video clips. It's just a lot of time for rendering, uploading through software such as Final Cut Pro. Needless to say, they aren't free. Therefore, not every creator, not every small business person will have a budget to purchase those mega software. This is why today we want to talk about Adobe Express. I think Adobe Express is so powerful for micro content creators, as well as for small business owners and creators who generate these long form content and try to build a funnel and more interest so more people can experience and experiment their micro content before making decisions to engage with their long form content. Look, the strategy isn't brand new, but I just want to confront the fact that making good and engaging micro content isn't as trivial as a lot of people would tell you. In this experiment, I want to combine two of my favorite tools, Adobe Express for finalizing, editing, and even publishing and scheduling micro content. And on the other hand, it is our in-house product called Pod Intelligence. Pod Intelligence will give creators and small business owners the ability to access their long form content using topics, keywords, even speakers, guests, and panelists based on durations. You get a lot of content. Now, what if you want to merge them, combine them? You can all do that within the free version of Adobe Express. I was so excited trying to script and create this video, and I hope you find value in it. Please watch the video till the end. You can see the full life cycle to go from a long form content to micro content published and serviced on your social media platforms. Let's get started. So what you're looking at right now is called Pod Intelligence. We developed this app in-house to give people the quickest way to navigate all of their content, whether it's one episode or 50 or 300 episodes of their podcasts or webinars, and directly find the pieces that are valuable to their business. By that, we filter the content based on topics as well as keywords. You can also select based on the guest versus the speaker. And it's really interesting to be able to navigate so much of the content that you have already produced. Some of the things that I want to focus on to show you how to combine Pod Intelligence and Adobe Express is this. Now, you have the ability to basically edit a single clip. Maybe it's a couple of minutes long, maybe it's under one minute even, and make it more interesting. I have a couple of ways to go about finding the content I love using Pod Intelligence. Let me give you a couple of ideas or recommendations. And later on, you can build out your own style and your own process. I'm looking at this clip, it's only about one minute and 16 seconds long, and I'm asking a pretty short question. I wanna give uh, you know a lot of air time to Mark, of course. What I can do is simply click on this video clip. I'm able to download the clip directly. I'm gonna bring that into Adobe Express. I have a couple of options there. I can basically spice up the clip using built-in imagery and a B-roll from Adobe. Secondly, I can trim and really just distill the core of the content, making it even shorter. Usually what we do with video content is we tend to chop off the beginning, a little bit in the end, but maybe somewhere in the middle that I feel like could be more engaging. Another way to really approach your content is based on, as I mentioned, topics and keywords here. Maybe you want to combine a couple of clips that are related. Artificial intelligence, let's see if we get anything. So boom, we got two clips. One is called the importance of AI and the other is education related to AI. So let's go to Adobe Express. Not only you can merge these videos together, trim them, but you can also change the orientation. So let's start creating a video from scratch. It's simply the first option. So here you can upload any MP4s or MOVs. So here you can click on create and you're going to have options to really change the ratio. You can decide if you're creating a TikTok video or YouTube video. All right, now I wanna upload the second video as well. What I will do is simply click on media and under photos, videos, audios, defaulted to video because you're working on the video asset. I'm gonna click on upload from device. Let's go ahead and grab the second clip as well. 
And now it's kind of uploaded within, you know, what you have currently, which is not what I want. So what I will do is click on add as a scene. So now you see it automatically just grab the second clip and now they're basically merged. You don't have to do anything. You can also create any transitions if you want. You can also zoom in like so. And don't forget that you can actually change uh, basically how zoomed in and out you want this clip to be. And for the next, let's say 15, 20 seconds, I want it to just focus on Mark. So what I would do is I will slice this again and put my cursor back here and now I can really crop this video. As soon as I click on that, you can see on the left-hand side, I have the crop option here. As you can see by default, you can do free form cropping, but if you want to retain the original orientation where you can select widescreen or portrait view if you want to. So it's really easy to edit. A lot of these things actually takes a lot longer and you have to pay for software like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci to use it. And here is really straightforward. I wanna show you something else. What if at this point you want to resize this video so that it can also work for social media? You have the ability to change the size. However, this is a premium feature. Their premium feature costs $9.99, $9.99. So if you want to explore, it is still quite affordable, but you don't have to use a premium feature if you don't want to. In this case, I'm going to just play with another clip right here. It has me and Mark talking at the same time. So let's go ahead and create new. And from here, let's change this into uh, uh, YouTube Shorts. How about that? So YouTube Shorts, as you know, is vertical content. I want to show you how I'm able to stack the video. So what I can do is number one, I can actually make a copy of this video. Literally, I just grab the video and I do copy. That's it. And from here, what I can do is simply crop. You see how easy that is? So I can bring the first video up here. And then the second video, I'm going to crop on Mark, like so. You can also crop it even further, guys. If you want to, for instance, turn this into two more squarish videos. Like Also, guys, before you're uploading two videos really side by side, what you're also creating is two overlapping audio tracks. So what you want to do is click on just one of them and make sure you actually mute it. And so you're only using one of the audio tracks. So you're going to sound a lot better. A couple of things you could do directly from Adobe Express, which I love, is click on the share button. You can invite collaborators, publish to the web, where you can schedule your post, guys. You can also directly immediately publish it to so many different platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as TikTok. Let me give you a quick view of what it looks like. So first, when you do that for the first time, of course, you have to connect to Instagram. Return to Adobe Express. From here, let's say I want to post this as a reel. Add a caption and I have the ability to schedule or publish directly to Instagram Reels. So now you understand how this goes. I want to show you how to simply download this asset and you have the ability to download it just as an image. But of course, in this case, you want to choose MP4. What about the video resolution? So you can download 4K, but to us, I think 1080p will be good enough. And the download starts, there's no watermark. You own these assets, which is wonderful. But I want to show you how to actually easily add captions using Adobe Express. All you have to do is upload your video and free to use forever. There's no credit card required. Upload the video. I'm really excited about the captioning tool. A lot of people don't realize this because I couldn't really easily find it as a feature there. So what I'm going to do is upload it here. There is a limit. This is a beta feature and there's a limit which is up to one gigabyte or five minutes. And you can also choose the spoken language, which means if I'm speaking like, let's say Japanese or Korean or Mandarin Chinese, will automatically transcribe it as well. So this clip is about 1 minute and 15 seconds. All right, so I am back. And as you can see, you get these captions on your videos free of charge. So as you can see, you can actually change and update and edit the captions right here. Uh, you can download it exactly as is after you go through it. And look, one thing that I was trying to change but I wasn't able to is to move this above uh, Mark's face. Obviously, it should be in between where we are. So I'm going to do is just click on open in Adobe Express and see if I can make any adjustments to my own liking. Uh, once I come back into Adobe Express, I'm able to just move it, uh, stretch it if I want to. Remember the change that you apply is universal across the entire clip. Basically use the S button to split the assets into two pieces and you can lay them however you want.
So let's say something is misspelled and you want to correct them as part of Adobe Express. You can also do that. Simply move your cursor inside. You can actually change the caption if you want to as regular text. It's all baked in to any content creators out there, especially if you're running a small business. I know you're having fun at this point, but just remember that you want there to be starting and also a stopping point. Make sure you're not turning editing your micro content and video clips into this like infinite iterations. So with that said, let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments below. I'd love to help you learn more and how to maximize the potential of your long form and short form content. I created this video for those of you who are really creating micro content for the first time on your own, or you have done this in the past and feel like you have failed, you haven't. There's always another chance to experiment with tools that can help you go further with the content you already have.